Okay, in this video we are going to cover the brake lamp module. If you have any other wind restrictor accessories, please refer to the other videos that include those accessories. This is only for the brake lamp module. The brake lamp module will work with any vehicle we make a wind restrictor for, with the exception of the new 2005 Plus SLK. The first part of this video will be instructions on how to hook up the module to each and every vehicle. It will be the same with the exception of the color of wire for the brake and the headlight wire. This information will be found in the model specific instructions for each vehicle that come in the box with every order. At the end of this video I will go over each feature of the brake lamp module and describe to you how it works. Okay go ahead and install the product according to the model specific instructions basically mount the wind restrictor to the car. The only thing this video will cover is the actual wiring portion for the illumination. Okay, every single color illumination wind restrictor will come with two wires coming off of the LED system, positive and a negative. If your wind restrictor has a pair of black wires instead of red and black, there should be an identifying mark on the positive wire such as a red piece of tape or a red piece of heat shrink. If not, look for the side of the black wire with the writing or indention on it, and that will be your positive. If at this point you cannot determine which side is positive and negative, and the wires are not clearly marked for some reason, please do not guess at it. A simple test to find out which one is positive and negative is to get a basic 9 volt battery, take the wire you think is positive, and connect it to the plus side of the battery, and do the opposite for the other wire. If the light produces illumination, then you have picked the right wire, and you can proceed. If you do wire this up backwards to the module though, it will cause damage to the module and we are not responsible for this. Okay, I'm going to use this diagram here for illustrative purposes. I'm going to show you precisely how the brake lamp module is supposed to be wired to your vehicle in conjunction with our wind restrictor product. If you do not follow these wiring steps precisely, the brake lamp module will not function as it was intended to. In fact, faulty installation would cause damage to the module and potentially the wind restrictor. Kingpin Industries is not responsible for faulty installation or customer negligence. Okay, when you take the brake lamp module out of the box, it will have five wires coming off of it. It will have two black wires, one red wire, one brown, and one blue. Here's the lighting system that's going to be attached to your wind restrictor. Oftentimes it's enclosed inside of a bracket and you won't see it, but this is what the LED bulbs look like. It has a positive and negative wire coming off of it, as I described earlier in the video. Take the negative wire that's coming off of the lighting system and attach it to either one of the black wires coming off of the brake lamp module. Do not connect it to both. Connect it to only one of the black wires coming off of the brake lamp module. Now you're going to take the positive wire coming off of the lighting system and attach it to the red wire coming off of the brake lamp module. Now remember it is very essential that you do determine the proper positive and negative wire coming off of the LED strip before you proceed. You can attach these wires together simply by twisting them together and ensuring that they have a very good connection then putting some electrical tape around them to protect them. Okay so now to summarize we've connected the red and black from the lighting system to the red and black on the brake lamp module. Okay, now that we have the lighting system hooked up, we'll talk about the three wires that are left over on the brake lamp module. Okay, the black wire that we have left, we are going to ground to the chassis of the vehicle. This step is very important. If you do not get a secure ground, the lighting will never work on the product. Please refer to the model specific instructions so that you can locate the grounding point on your vehicle that is best for use of this application. You may want to consider stripping off the wire uh, two to three inches so that you can wrap the wire around the grounding bolt and get a very good connection before you tighten it down. Okay, now that you've grounded the brake lamp module to the vehicle, it's time to move on to the blue and the brown wire. Now these are the two wires that are gonna give the wind restrictor power. At this point, you're going to want to locate the wiring harness that provides power for the running lights 
and the brake lights on your vehicle. This information should be found in the model specific directions that were included with your wind restrictor in the box. For illustrative purposes, this is going to be our wiring harness, although most of them are going to have a black cover similar to electrical tape wrapped all around them. Once you find the proper wiring harness according to the model specific instructions, you're going to want to splice into the covering a bit so that you can separate the wires and look and see all the different colors of wires inside the harness. This is just an example. Your, your harness will have its own colors of wires inside uh, for you to choose from. Okay, back at our illustration here, once you've found the proper harness according to the instructions, there's going to be two wires that are mentioned in your instructions. One of them is the brake wire. Attach the blue wire from the brake lamp module to the color of wire noted in your instructions being the brake wire. So again, blue from the brake lamp module goes to the brake power wire in the harness. You're going to use one of the two clamps provided in the box, one of these red vampire clamps. Now these clamps are fairly easy to use. If you look at the end of the clamp, you'll notice that on one side of it, it has a plastic stop that will not allow a wire to go all the way through. And on the other side, it has a, an open space that you could slide a wire in from the side. So you would take the wire coming off the brake lamp module, insert it into the side with the stop all the way through until it stops. Then you would take the other wire, the one you're going to hook it up to, uh, in this instance being the brake wire, and slide it into the side of this clamp. Make sure it goes all the way up under the metal tooth. Um, when you slide it in, when you compress the metal tooth, it should bite into both of the wires at the same time. Now here's a, an additional illustration showing a wire going in to one side with a stop. Then you're going to find the brake wire and basically slide it into the side of the clamp. Now disregard these colors. This is just an example. So push it into the side of that clamp to where they both are under that tooth and then get the pliers and clamp it down really tight and fold the clasp over. It is very important that these wires are in the clip uh, properly before you clamp the pliers down or else you will not get a good connection and the lighting will not work in the end. Okay, back to our illustration here. So now we have the uh, brake lamp wire uh, connected to the blue wire from the brake lamp module. Now we're going to connect the dark brown wire from the brake lamp module to the running light wire or interior light wire, whichever your instructions call for. In the instructions that came in the box, the wire should be noted as either headlight uh, running light wire or interior light wire. This is the wire you connect the brown wire from the brake lamp module to. You'll attach it exactly like you attach the brake lamp wire with a red clamp. Okay, just for clarification purposes, when you are trying to locate the two wires to hook the brake lamp module up to for the power sources, please refer to the instructions that came in the box for the standard hookup. Now, the brake lamp module video here supersedes those instructions, but you will need those instructions to determine which two wires to hook up to. The brake is simple. It's only going to be one color of wire. Then you're going to look uh, for the headlight or running light wire, or it may even say interior light wire. It's all going to be basically the same wire, but the color is definitely noted, and it's the one other than the brake lamp wire. That's the one you're going to hook up to the brown wire coming off the module. Then you're going to hook the blue going to the brake wire, and that one is clearly noted. Okay, now I'm going to go over uh, some of the functions uh, or features of the brake lamp module. These uh, functions should be explained in the printed uh, instructions that came in the box uh, with the wind restrictor as well, so you may want to refer to those. The brake lamp module makes it possible for you to turn the wind restrictor into sort of a third brake light. 
As you see here, the wind restrictor is producing the exact same amount of illumination as the tail lights right now when you let off the brake and when you're applying pressure to the brake. In order to create this type of effect, there's uh, two settings that have to be applied. Uh, there's two different knobs on the brake lamp module that have to be set a certain way. However, you are welcome to set it any way that you want, according to your own preference. We do think this is uh, the best way and probably is the most popular way to set the brake lamp module. Okay, here's an overview of the brake lamp module. Um, basically, the bottom knob, or the knob closest to the wiring harness, is going to control the intensity of the illumination uh, when your running lights or headlights are on. So, therefore, anytime at night you have your lights on, the wind restrictor will come on, and this bottom knob will control how bright it will be as you are driving or if the vehicle is parked and you have your lights on. If you turn this knob counterclockwise to the left, it will reduce the intensity of the illumination all the way down to off if you turn it all the way to the left. If you turn it to the right, it will make the intensity get brighter. Um, and if you want to, you could even turn it all the way up. However, most people will have this bottom knob turned to approximately half setting so that it's a, a mid-level intensity or more of a low, elegant glow while they are driving. Now the second knob, the top knob, is going to control the intensity while you're pressing on your brake. So most people have this knob turned all the way clockwise, all the way to the right, and anytime you apply pressure to your brake system, it will therefore kick the intensity all the way up to its brightest capacity. Then, when you let go of the brake pedal, it would go back do down to that normal uh, mid-level intensity if you had it set that way. Of course, you can set these knobs any way you like. Turn them up or down, set them backwards if you want, any way you like, as long as you know that the bottom controls while you're driving and the top controls while you are pressing on the brake. Okay, now this side slot here is for the 9-volt battery. If you place a 9-volt battery in that slot and turn this toggle switch to the up position away from the harness, what you're going to find is that it will be on backup power and you do not have to have your vehicle started or running uh, while utilizing this function. So it's very good for car shows or if you're parked outside of a, you know, a restaurant and you just want to show off the wind restrictor and keep it lit up. Um, when your car is off, uh, that's what this is for. Uh, you will have to change this out, I would say, once every few months if you're using it uh, a, few a few minutes a night or you know, even a few hours a night. It should last for quite a while. The brake feature, however, will not work on the 9-volt setting. You will have to flip that toggle switch back down to utilize your car power, and you will have to have your headlights turned on. Okay, now for the troubleshooting section. If uh, no illumination is appearing, and you're wondering why I'm about to cover all possible scenarios for you. Okay, first I'm going to go over a checklist of some things that uh, need to happen. Uh, first of all, when you are testing the brake lamp module, you will need to start your vehicle. Uh, I do realize that your headlights work without the engine being on. I realize that sometimes the brake lights work. What we want to do is take all the guesswork out of this though. So go ahead and start your vehicle fully on turn on your headlights manually do not rely on the auto settings or anything that like that turn on your headlights manually we're basically going to create this scenario as if it were nighttime and you're driving at night uh, so you want to turn them all the way on even though I know some some of you have auto setting it comes on automatically go ahead and manually turn the switch forward to the fully on position now you're going to want to make sure that the toggle switch uh, if you're looking at this diagram here, it's going to be flipped all the way to the right. Um, basically, you're going to flip it to the side that is closest to the harness. That is the 12-volt power side. It will also note this on the basic uh, hardwiring instructions for the brake clamp module that should have been included in the box for you. So we have the toggle switch in the 12-volt position. Uh, actually, there's no need for the 9-volt battery to be in this at all. 
uh, at this time because we're checking the 12 volt side. Okay, now you're going to want to take this uh, the knob that's in the very right hand side closest to the harness here in this diagram. Turn it all the way clockwise and look at the wind restrictor, uh, preferably in a shaded area uh, to see if you see the light come on. If you turn this knob all the way clockwise, uh, the right knob here for the running light or headlights, and you do not see any illumination at all and you are in a shaded area that you will be able to see the illumination uh, because if you're in the sunlight you will not be able to see it then what you're going to want to do is check one of two things first of all you're going to want to check to make sure that you grounded one of the black wires to the chassis very good you may not have good a, got a good ground connection so you may want to undo it strip the wire wrap it back around the post put the nut in place or however it is you're grounding it and get a more of a solid contact on the ground to the chassis the next thing you're going to want to check is the red vampire clamp that you use to clamp in the brown wire to the running light in the harness sometimes those clamps are a little bit tricky if you do not uh, push the pliers in uh, to the clamp and have it bite down into both wires evenly sometimes it won't work for you there's even been times I've had to redo those uh, red clamps two or three times because I was rushing and wasn't taking my time so check the red clamp on the brown wire coming from the module going to the headlight wire and ensure that it has a, a very good connection you can turn your headlights off for the time being now that you're redoing that connection in an attempt to get a better connection. Once you've redone that uh, red clamp uh, headlight wire connection, go ahead and turn your headlights back on. Or make sure that knob on the right here is all the way clockwise and see if you're producing illumination. If you're not noticing a change of illumination, it is working, but you're not noticing a change of illumination as you're stepping on the brake pedal, it's either because the car is not turned on and your brakes are not, your brake lights are not working, or it's because the blue wire from the module is not clamped in good to the brake wire. So you want to redo that connection, redo that clamp or solder it on to the wire to get a very good connection. Now we check all LEDs and all accessories uh, before we ship them out to you and do a two person quality control check on them before we send them out. Uh, however, if you do want to check your light at this point, um, uh, but you're not getting the accessory pr to produce the illumination, go ahead and stick the 9 volt battery in the side of it and flip that toggle switch back up to the top. Um, this will uh, should produce illumination uh, rather quickly for you and make sure that bottom that uh, right hand knob there is um, turned all the way to the right and you should see illumination. That will tell you that the LED is good and in fact the cause uh, now of the problem it will be with the connections at the uh, the power wires being the brake wire or the headlight wire if you still cannot get illumination um, what you're going to want to do is repeat these steps check the ground again and check the connections again if you've done everything that you know to do and had somebody look at it for you and the product is still not producing illumination and you feel like you may have uh, damaged it uh, during installation because of faulty wiring or you feel like the module may have came to you um, faulty then you'll need to get uh, onto our general terms and conditions section of our website and uh, follow the uh, the procedures there that are outlined under uh, warranty information and product return but again, all of our accessories are checked and double checked uh, by two different people before they are shipped out the door. So we're very confident that they're in working condition once you receive them. Uh, this video should cover the proper way to install the brake clamp module. It is only five wires, so please don't be scared to, to, to give it a shot. Just take your time, do everything that I've outlined here. Um, if you do have any uh, uh, additional difficulties that you need, some questions answered, uh, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email um, to our service department, and that is service at kingpin, that's P-E-N-N, -N, kingpinindustries.com. I hope you enjoy your product uh, for many years to come.